Tizel, are you a scientist now? Now, oh, I wish. Science was actually my favorite subject at school. Oh, look, I didn't get an A. I'll put it out there. But that's not just how I didn't love it. X is for experiments. Get your lab coats, your goggles, and an adult to supervise, because today we're going to make some easy peasy, very cool science experiments. Let's make elephant toothpaste. You will need a plastic cool drink bottle, very warm water, red food coloring, blue food coloring in a syringe, dish soap, one packet of instant yeast, half a cup of hydrogen peroxide, 40 vol. Let's start with half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. In with our dish soap, swishing the soap and the hydrogen peroxide. Let's mix our yeast solution. Instant yeast, half a cup of warm water, give it a mix. Tilt the bottle to the side, drip a little food coloring. Red to the other side, blue, clear the decks, lay down some plastic or do it outside so you can hose it away in the end. On the marks, get set, go. Elephant's toothpaste! Look at that elephant's toothpaste. And that was the sound the elephant makes. Now it's time to make a candle vacuum. Three stick a candle to the middle of the plate. Add a tiny bit of water to the saucer. I'm lighting the candle. Now I'm gonna take a glass. Just gonna hold it for five seconds. And then I'm gonna drop it over. Look what's happening, Suzelle. We created a vacuum inside the glass, guys. And that is science. Look how it sucked up all the water. Let's make a fire dragon. Pour some sand onto a plate. Lighter fluid, guys. Very important, and we really want to soak it. Here we have four tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda. In it goes. Give it a mix. Make a little sugar tower in the middle of my sand. Make sure you are doing this in a ventilated area with a fire extinguisher nearby and with an adult present. This looks like one of those fancy fires that you see at a dinner party. I see little fire rocks growing. This is like a Game of Thrones or something. Oh, I miss it. The sugar and the bicarbonate of soda are creating lots of oxygen. And that is what is creating this ashy snake that you see before you. And that's how you make a weird... Wriggly fire dragon. Cut, cut. Time to make some liquid smoke. <laughs> You're gonna need a piece of tin foil, a pencil, and some matches. I've placed my pencil at the end, my matches over there. Roll them up into a little tubular shape. You're going to twist the end by the matchsticks. Remove the pencil. This has been in the freezer. It's a cooled glass. I'm going to place the open side down into the glass like a straw. I'm going to light the side with the matches. Just be careful here, guys. They're going to be a little pop. Don't get a fright. They're going to combust. That's the scientific word. Molecules. Woo! Woo! I'm going to pour the smoke. Whoa Let's make colourful rain in a jar. One cup of vegetable oil. Tiny little drops of food colouring, guys. Now we emulsify. Now I'm going to pour my oil into the jar of water. You can see that the oil is floating. Let's wait for our beautiful rain cloud. Wow, guys. Little magical octopus lives inside there. I think. In my imagination. DIY. Because anybody can, and because science is so cool. Bill Nye the science guy. No. <gasps> Suzelle the science girl. Oh no! Suzelle the science girl. Suzelle the science girl. Oh, it's got a ring to it, eh? I'm seriously thinking about doing a science show.